This week's Jewish terminology word is, Mama Lashen, Mame Lashen Shalom Children of God. Welcome back to Marie Speaks God's Grace Bible Study. I do pray everyone had a wonderful holiday season. I pray others had a chance to review all the wonderful and spiritual aspects of the biblical feast and Jewish traditional holidays. I find that every season I learn and relearn something new and fun about the Jewish holidays and biblical feast. For example, I laughed when I learned I had been lighting my menorah incorrectly. For some reason I remember lighting the menorah from right to left, but in class when my rabbi said the menorah was lit from left to right. I was so very happy that the classes are online and no one could see how red with embarrassment my face must have been. I wasn't the only one in the class or as I saw online that was doing the lighting incorrectly as I found out later, but boy did I have a little chuckler over my silliness. When I saw I was being competitive with myself again. Two I seen how much serving God means to me. I think it's nice to be reminded in general. That I'm not perfect and hey that is okay because not only does God not require me to be, but neither is anyone else. Another thing I learned or relearned this holiday season is that even when there is joy there can be pain, but how we react determines the final outcome or at least determine the bumpiness of the road. Long story short, my beautiful wonderful huge sweet fun everything awesome dog died. His name was Jameson and I miss him so very much. 2022, honestly was already such a difficult year for me personally and to have the year end with the death of my lovely Jameson, I could hurt. The I am very grateful that God allowed my sweet boy in my life for 9 years, but for me. There is never enough time with a loved one. It hurts so very much when that time is ended. I don't like this part of life, but change is always changing and time seems to keep running. I believe that animals have spirits, because of God being all of our creator. So, I do have faith when earth is made like heaven. My have been soon in our days. Maybe my sweet boy will be at my Spanish villa waiting for me. And we can hike and play like when was he was young again. Hashtag thank you Hashem for love and time and for my sweet boy Jameson. Amen and Amen. My sweet, Jameson Earl of Crawford. March 2014 to November 28, 2022. Today we are going to go over our Jewish terminology for the week. This week's word is, Mama Lashen, Mame Lashen. Yiddish word that literally means mother tongue. Mama Lashen is referred to the Yiddish language itself. Well, Hebrew was taught only to men for their study of the holy books, Yiddish was the everyday language for home and of women. As defined in my personally owned the JPS Dictionary of Jewish Words by Joyce Eisenberg and Ellen Skinnick 2001 Copyright First Edition. The History of Yiddish In its 1000 plus year history, the Yiddish language has been called many things, including the tender name Mamalashen, Mother Tongue, the adversarial moniker Zargon, Jargon, and the more matter-of-fact Judeo-German. What is Yiddish? Literally speaking, Yiddish means Jewish. Linguistically, it refers to the language spoken by Ashkenazi Jews, Jews from Central and Eastern Europe, and their descendants. Though its basic vocabulary and grammar are derived from medieval West German, Yiddish integrates many languages including German, Hebrew, Aramaic, and various Slavic and Romance languages. Just for fun. My Jewish learning is a not-for-profit and relies on your help, Nate. A brief glossary of important and commonly used Yiddish words and phrases. Bissel, bile, a little bit, as in I just want to eat a bissel right now. Bubby, bubby, grandmother. Chutzpah nerve, extreme arrogance, brazen presumption, confidence, as in it took real chutzpah for him to ask for a raise when he kept showing up late for every appointment. Davin, to pray. Klutz, a clumsy person. Kavel, to experience pride in someone else typically one's children, as in David decided to go into oncology, and I'm just cavelling. And as an adding fun bonus. I found a fun video a while ago and this is the perfect time I think to share it with others, black man shocks orthodox Jews by speaking Russian Yiddish by Frankie Light. Or black man sneaks into a Jewish synagogue. I truly hope other enjoyed this blog, their holidays, and are looking forward to a wonderful new season. May 5783, 2023 be a wonderful sweet year for us all God willing. In closing. This week's word was selected at random from my personally owned the JPS Dictionary of Jewish Words by Joyce Eisenberg and Ellen Skinnick 2001 Copyright First Edition. 
I'm not paid to endorse nor affiliated. This book is from my personal library. I purchased this book from thriftbooks.com You can get your own personal low price copy using the link below. Thriftbook.com Remember to keep up to date with us via our website at Marie Speaks God's Grace.live for all our blog and social media links. Season 5 of the Bible Study is on break until January 3, 2023. Please feel free to catch up on the Bible studies and other videos we have uploaded on YouTube. And Rumble. So like, heart, rumble, subscribe and or share for next class. Until next time, with God's beautiful mercy and grace we will see each other soon. Marie.